Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the third week of the Overwatch League 2019 season. I am Achilles here to kick things off alongside Wolf. And man, what a journey it has been already. Teams climbing to the top, New York Excelsior, Vancouver Titans way out in front. Some of the other teams though, slumping a bit given our expectations for them coming into this season. Yeah, it's, it definitely hasn't been the season everyone has expected here from the start of things. And you know, London Spitfire especially are defending champions. A little bit of a rocky start for them, but bouncing back up just below playoff cutoffs in ninth place. If you take a look at the Justice will be in this first match, they're down at 18th. So Quite a tough road for them thus far. If they can take a win tonight, they will jump up quite a few places. But yeah, it's we've seen a lot of upsets already. And if the Justice are to win it tonight, it would be just another one of those. It really would be. It would be a massive, massive upset to be coming through for the Justice who have yet to pick up that victory. But Fusion have been stumbling a bit with that 2-2 record. A lot of people were expecting them to be very much more dominant in their season so far, given that they were a grand finalist team. Yeah. So we talked a lot about Sato earlier in the Watchpoint pre-show, and that's kind of been the issue here, is he's just been avoiding playing the win. So when he does play it, he's had some issues. And as you can see here, if you look at the Fusion versus Mayhem series, the Mayhem really came online. The Fusion were struggling in 3-3 to put Carpe on the window here. Started to get a little bit better for them, but they do end up losing this series in the end. And, you know, with Florida Mayhem's track record, it's got to feel pretty bad about that one. They do. I mean, a little bit of a caveat there, though, for the Philly Fusion. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, Boombox was absent because of illness. We've been told that he may be starting here tonight. So that might be enough to put Philly back at the top and help them start climbing those standings again. Their opponents on the day, though, going to be the Washington Justice, a team that has had a very flatlined start in the Overwatch League. They need to find some wins. They were talking about it on Watchpoint just a little bit ago. They need to find those wins right now. now if you look at the damage, it's actually pretty close here, 35k to 40. One. But when you look at final blows here per 10 minutes, it's about a third as good for the Justice. And that basically means that throughout all of this, they're just doing a, getting a lot less kills overall, about one third. And a lot of that's due to lost team fights. But mostly, this is the kind of thing you look at. And what it really means is they're just not able to really target correctly. They're not able to secure the kills they need to win the team fights. Well, let's see if they're going to build up that synergy. If they're going to have that cohesion here today, work as a unit as they try to take on the fusion. Let's go ahead and introduce the squad, ladies and gentlemen, the Washington Justice. Currently winless at the moment. The Justice looking to bounce back tonight. They've got a roster that, again, as we said, as we commentated them last week, you know, on paper, it doesn't feel like they should be struggling this hard. We heard rumors that they weren't having the best scrim results. They've come in with an O2 scoreline, but this match for them is winnable if they could turn some of that team fighting around, if they could work on the target focus. Here will be our starting six. Fozix in the opening lineup with Otto, as we'll have Corey bringing up the Zarya once again. Now, let's see if he can level up his play. We saw in that New York Excelsior series that Justice played, started looking better as the series went on. Corey was leveling it up, but in the grand scheme of things, his stats on that Zarya, not gonna be the greatest in the league yet, but we'll see what we can get done today. Their opponents, so ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to the Philadelphia Fusion. Fusion came in with high expectations. How can you not? You made it so far in our inaugural season, but it has not been as clean in stage one here. But the man on stage, Boombox, he is back. You know, Mika has spent some time, you know, or one of our insiders to talk to him. He's not feeling 100%, but he's feeling definitely good enough to play, which is crucial because Elk, of course, was one of the reasons why they had some struggles in their previous match. So him coming back in now, is really gonna fill that gap. And you have to think this is the stronger fusion we're seeing here against the Justice. I want to see Carpe's feeling on point. It's all those highlights leading into the matchup, missing a lot of those Widowmaker headshots, something that is very uncharacteristic for him. So if he's feeling comfortable today, could just maybe single-handedly dismantle the Justice. We'll have to see how they're gonna deal with that Widow should it come out, but expecting to have a lot more comfort for this lineup on stage with that man right there back at the desk too in the crowd yep so it seems like the fans very much missing boombox but now he has returned with neptuno here as well neptuno has been a player who's always been able to pretty consistently set up team fights with his right clicks on lucio that's becoming very crucial right now in this meta you know it's one of the things that we saw slowly creeping up in contenders when uh you know we started to see those bombs come through setting up big explosions 
But now we're seeing the more subtle plays from players like Neptuno, where you're cutting a team in half, knocking the Zarya player out of position, getting that Zarya focused down. Go Zarya first, you win the team fight. So players like Moth especially as well are really making that happen. Neptuno is in the list. Well, another East Coast showdown getting ready to come through here as DC takes on Philadelphia. Let's see who comes out on top. Saw a little bit of banter going back and forth on Twitter before this matchup began, before we started off the day. And I, I got to call out the, the DC general manager. Wawa is actually amazing. <laughs> so you're I incorrect. Still, I still haven't experienced it yet myself. It's, a, it's a revelation, to. Wolf. It is a revelation. Those sandwiches are amazing. Anything you want, you can get it 24 hours. But guys, I think we're just about ready to take a look at our map set to see where we are going to be heading. And it looks like to so kick us off, Ilios will be the beginning. Yep, seems that way. So that is the map you could see there on our screens as we head into this one. We'll be jumping into it right away. Just for uh, explanation's sake and um, consistency's sake, we'll be going to Hollywood Anubis Route 66. After that, those will be our four maps. So heading into this one here, the big question is, will we see any Widow on Ruins? Certainly a possibility, but neither team wants to commit. Sato will again. Be forced to play the Winston here. This time he's starting it though against Giannis on the Reinhardt. Giannis going to be able to have the more stable setup if they can get onto the point and control it first. Otherwise, Fusion will absolutely have the advantage. Faster Primal Rage, environmental kills will be possible. Oh, Boombox back on the stage already. Spamming out with these left and right clicks, looking for a target. Going to be able to get too much damage weaved in here at the moment, but Guido. Is just going to be neck and neck with him, so seems to be going about the same for both of these Enyatas thus far. Not really committing to anything so far, just going to be on opposite sides of the point. Sato goes forward, gets that Zarya bubble. He tries to stay alive in the mix of things. The cap nearly comes through for the Philadelphia Fusion. They work their way back in, Justice inching their way forward. Getting tagged up every time they try to step onto the point. So taking this one very slowly. Dive into the back now, going to be coming through from Sato. Looking to disrupt the Justice as the cap gets ready to roll into the Fusion at long last. Will be able to lock this one down, but Justice, can they turn this around? Focus gonna be knocked out of the mech. Guido coming up with that one, the Baby Diva going lower, and Otto will be able to follow up for the kill. Yeah, him out, now Guido gets rid of Boombox, says welcome back, hope you're feeling better. It's gonna be a flip for sure. The question is how long can they hold it? Not much longer. Yeah, it seems like will just be the fast flip coming through. Carpe gonna be the last one picked off as Corey gets a double there on the back end. The two players I want everyone to focus on here are Sato and Carpe. S Sato having a bit of a struggle, got bubbled early in that fight, was forced away, had to return. He only built 70%. However, Carpe's got a grab here. He did more damage in that fight than Corey did. He's gonna return here with this opportunity to set up a fight. If it fails though, it's looking really bad for Fusion. That's their biggest tool right now. And they're already being gate kept out here. Nice high ground control by the Justice, not fighting on the point, but in fact, preventing Fusion from entering. Well, Sato gonna go into the back line again. Pogo going low, will get top back up. Grab's gonna be coming through, Carpe locking him up. Corey gonna be responding with one of his own, but the Transcendences are out to keep everybody alive. Justice still in control of the point, moving up to 35%. Two major support ultimates gonna be used, no grabs left to go. Now Fusion, how do they engineer a flip here? That's the question. Shatter gonna be coming down, but it catches no one, and Yannis instantly gonna be eliminated. You know, under some fire, gets that sound barrier shield come through to help him stay alive through the primal range, but it doesn't matter. The focus fire is there, and he will get punished. Bob from Sansom, not gonna be able to find anything, makes it back into the mech, right as Giannis gets ready to rejoin in with the rest of the squad, but they're still under fire. They're maintaining control of the point, but it seems like Fusion are winning the in the long term here and will be able to get the flip. Giannis thought that Shatter was gonna be, a, he took an opportunistic Shatter after the leap in from Sato, knowing there wouldn't be any bubble to counteract where it would hit, but it was a big fail Shatter. Did not actually connect the way he wanted it to, and then Sato was able to, through that Primal Rage, zone everybody out, cut the team in half. Carpe builds tons of energy. He's got another grab online for this defending fight. They're also going to do the same high ground approach to defend. Washington Justice takes this inside doorway now to get onto the point. Burning, building up that energy very rapidly there, but pinned into the wall with the grab. Pazic's gonna be taken down by the bomb. That's just gonna be a cleanly won fight for the fusion. The problem with taking this pathway to get to the point is sure, you're gonna be safe from damage during that moment where they have that high ground control, they're firing upon you. You're safe there, but when you go to exit, your opponent knows exactly where you're going, where you're gonna be super easy to get cut off there, and that's exactly what the fusion did. They just dropped down and ripped them apart. Now, ult advantage still maintained here for the fusion. Boombox doesn't have a trance though. That's the one thing they're missing. He's got it now. Yeah, Kido under some fire. Grab gonna be coming down, locking up the front line. Coco gonna be eliminated now. They get rid of Sato. This is gonna be the go button here. Washington Justice working their way over onto the point. Corey still not building up that much energy. 
But weaving in damage with a right click, just trying to get that next grab online. In the meantime, oh. the flip will be there. Overextension from the tank line there, Sato and Poco out in the front, get caught and grabbed. And even though Boombox did have his trance ready for that moment, he wasn't in position, he couldn't get there in time. He still holds it. Rallies after me, QL, armoring up everybody. You know, hanging on to that transcendence, doesn't want to have to use it yet. Bomb from Sun Sun, looking for a pickoff, goes in the back, doesn't find anything. Boombox is going to be popping the trance. Justice in the lead at the moment, 85% rolling through. As Fusion tries to make their way onto the point, but Sato in the front line, taking so much damage, has to kite his way back. Top back up before he can rejoin. The primal range still a ways away, 60% left to go on that. Jumps into the back line, trying to find Fossix there perhaps, takes out Lucio low, but cannot kill him off yet. OT getting ready to come through. The shadow gonna be dropped in from Giannis. Locked up right now. In the grab are the Justice, but they answer back with one of their own. Bombs after Pogo looking for a pick, but he doesn't find anything. Instead, it's two members gone. No one gets onto the point, and the Justice will take the first round on Ilios. Absolute control at the moment to the Justice. Their tank line is overall fighting better in these, uh, you know, these scrappy fights that you see on Ruins, where you see Sato leap in, he's alone. Poco can join him. Those are the two heroes that have mobility in this composition, but this is not a dive comp. It needs time for the supports to get in there to, you know, be able to heal up, to be able to trance in those fights that go wrong when corey has got the grab on the other side. This is something that I feel like Sato and Poco are not respecting. Had Poco got the, you know, eat on the grab, for example, totally different story, but yeah. it doesn't happen that way. And Sato is once again going to start, it seems, here on the Winston. Will be a mirror this time on well, as Reinhardt just doesn't have much charge ability when there's a hole there in the center. Well, a great start for the Justice. Can they kick things off with a 2-0 on Ilios? So far, that cohesion that we were talking about before the match began seems like it's going to be there a little bit more uh, compared to the fusions. Again, it's going to be playing in and out of sightlines, trying to get some spam in from the Zenyatas. Dive into the back, now going to be coming through from Sato. This connects himself with the rest of the squad. They push inward. Indoors, manage to find the kills as Guido and Corey get taken down. They answer back on a boombox, but they need so much more than that if the Justice is going to try to turn this one around, and they are not going to find it. Otto just going to be killed off here at the end, you would expect. And this First cap comes through for Billy. Much different type of attack than what we normally see, or what we were just seeing on Ruins for the Fusion. Everyone was together. The targeting was really good there. They baited out the uh, auto burst heal there on Takedo immediately, so the armor pack was already down. Target selection was good. Carpe, Poco, and Sato are all on the same page on the targets they're killing. They get that opening pick, and then you see Neptuno's there for the knockoffs, and it all just works like clockwork. This is a much cleaner Philly. Pushing their way forward, rally to lead. Billy just looking to shut down Justice before they can make their way over onto the point. Sometimes I'm going to be knocked out of that mech, delaying that self-destruct even longer. Should allow Philly to go ahead and maintain control for quite some time. They will finish off the pilot form D.Va. This is huge. This is a massive advantage in every regard here for the Fusion, especially because Boombox is only 25% away from a trance. He's also got that armor from the rally still. It'll slowly decay, but he has this ability to be aggressive, look for right clicks to finish that off. And Corey doesn't even have a grab yet. He's not even close to a grab. So there's so many different ways for Fusion to just take a fight in their style. They have different, different ways to engage. They can use Primal, they can use the grab. The world is their oyster right now. Yeah, the grab difference probably going to be the most staggering. As yeah. the supports are keeping up quite nicely. Fozzik's going to have the sound barrier online before Neptuno, it would seem at the moment. Bubbles coming through, Carpe surging that energy forward. Getting that damage in, waiting for an opportunity to throw out the grabs on Surge. Primal Rage going to be coming through, Giannis into the back, instantly melted down to half HP. Maybe trying to find a knockoff kill, but instead, it seems like he's leaping up and down, getting some stomp damage, but nothing really meaningful. No one going in towards the well whatsoever. So free ult out from him. Sato's now going to be expiring. Grab straight in on Giannis as they try to kill him off. Transcendent's going to be in from Gino to keep him alive. Pokemon comes down, not going to be able to find any picks. They answer back with a grab of their own. So far, not going to be able to find any kills, but they get the flip in all of the chaos. 90% for Philly Fusion. Watching the Justice finally gain control. Neptuno is such a threat here in the middle of the map. Great support ultimates by both of them. Him and Boombox together to survive through that Play grab. Look at the for the boom. Knocks Fossix down in the well, but he will be able to skirt around the inside. Get himself back out to safety. He's already rejoined in with Guido. But Giannis gets taken down. Now they're starting to get the cap back in. Remember, it's 90% at the moment for the fusion. Now Otto and Guido both get picked off. Carpe gets himself a double as Corey as well. Be taken down. Triple kill over to Carpe here with the Zarya. This guy is a madman. Finishes off the baby diva in style. The flip comes in. 
And I don't know if Justice can do anything to stop this from ticking up. And when we look at this map in particular versus Ruins, it's just such a shorter distance you're talking about. Here's the tag in from Giannis. He'll just instantly be deleted, though, as overtime ticks down. There's no way they flip this. Transcendence going to have to be used by Guido. Trying to keep him alive. Grabs on Surge going to be coming through. Corey, even with the Transcendence healing, gets melted down. Boombox targeting him out. Thumbs up with that kill. They will shut them out. Final little extension in on the point from the Justice. But Poco, he shuts down Fozzik. Sansem can't do anything with a half mech. It's going to be zipping in and out, but they'll boop him up. They'll take him down. And that OT will start to plummet. Keep little delays coming through for the Justice, but in the end, not going to be enough. So tied up one to one here on Ilios as the Fusion fire back. The major difference for the Fusion in that last round was that they we're playing over shorter distances when they were going for these attacks. I don't want to call them dives, but obviously when you see the Winston leap in, right, that's the moment where the attack is going to start. You're going to see that's how they are able to bait out ultimates or look for a pick to win the fight. And on Ruins, we're talking about a larger distance they have to traverse. So Sato and Popo are going very far forward to look for that type of attack. But on, uh, you know, as we were going into Well, it's a much smaller area you're talking about. You can't even literally leap as far in a lot of the choke points that we're fighting in. So. In those moments, Philadelphia Fusion look way more coordinated because there's not this disconnect between the front line and the back line that needs to support it. Well, Boombox looking to see if they're going to be running the far up, but they don't spot anything yet. Super smart play here just to check for it. And then, you know, if you get that kill, it's amazing. But they are just going to be able to swap over. Unless this is Waiting something see what the really comp big is gonna be. Going OK, so they're actually, they're confirming. They're waiting to see what the enemy team is running. They see that it's going to be the 3-3 coming through. Right. Now we get the triple DPS coming through. Carpe. The QO on this far, and Carpe going to be showing us the Ash. Yes, this is so huge. Now Carpe is this is his main role, right, is range damage. Gito already under fire. One more shot from Carpe would have finished him off. Pops back up the top. The shotgun blast going to be looking to weave in some of these shots. Build up that bob. I don't know if they're doing enough damage, to be honest with you, Achilles. Okay, well, that's what you need. There you go, Ikio. He hurt you, Wolf. Says, oh, I can deliver on that. Takes out Kido. Poke under a little bit of fire. Not going to be able to find the boop off here. But Ikio gets some nice rockets into the back of Yannis. Taking him lower and lower. Kido's going to be swapping over off the Zenyatta onto that Moira now. To be a little bit more elusive. Massive pile driver in from Sato, but he's going to be taken down. Rockets, however, still flying through. And Philly Fusion worked their way over onto the point as they look for this flip. Sound barrier comes out from Fozix, trying to keep him alive. Kido going to get stunned up. Taken down. Carpe getting closer to the bomb, but he needs this. Instantly throws out the bomb, but it's just gonna be sitting right in front of the Ryan Shield. They boop him back. He has no line of sight. And now this ult's gonna be effectively worthless. EMP's gonna be out. Boombox goes forward with the transcendence, keeping everybody else topped up, but they need the kills to follow. Giannis manages to survive, now can raise that shield back up. Dynamite into the back, gonna be denied away. Sansa finds that one with the D Matrix yet again. Flip's still not here. Barrage comes in from above. QO only gets one, then Sansa pushes forward, manages to take him down. All out brawl coming through, but it's a Justice who come out on top. Fusion should have swapped, swapped compositions earlier or regrouped before going for another attack with the EB, EMP Barrage combo available. They didn't utilize it correctly. This is some of the best play we've seen from the Josh, the, the Washington Justice. The Joshington was The Joshington was <laughs> um, But some of the best play we've seen from them, Guido with the fast swap over to rejoin the point and have sustained healing to win that longer fight. Super smart decision making, very patient play. Now they've got it for this choke, the Coalescence. Yeah, they're just trying to win it right here. Make sure they can't even step over onto the point. Sensum's gonna find two with the bomb. Gato taking down Sato with the coalescence. That's four members gone. This is basically an unwinnable map when you swap that late because the opponents have better ults. They just can't touch this point. The shatter comes through just to guarantee. And this is gonna be a one map for the justice. Absolutely nuts. Just sure that they cannot push forward onto the point to force out that OT. And the justice will be able to take map one. Ilios going their way. A fantastic start to this series for them. Can they keep that ball rolling, That's though? The question. I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with Fusion. They tried a new strategy, but did not swap. Well, let's see how they step it up when we come back from the break with Hybrid. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Man, Washington Justice kicking things off with that 1-0 start. Got the victory on Ilios, but now we have to see if they can keep it rolling as we get ready to move into Hollywood. Yeah, you know, it's the fusion. The strategy was cool. I really like the idea there, but when they went into that scrappy fight, Gato swapping over it, which worked out so well because he died first, right? To that Moira made it so they could heal through all the crazy, you know, fight that it was going to ensue afterwards with Fusion constantly just running back to the point, trying to make the barrage work, trying to make the EMP work. It was a strategy that you could see working in another situation, but in this case, the execution left a lot to be desired, to be honest with you, Achilles. Oh, we have to see how they're going to adapt on the fly as we get ready to move through into Hollywood. Could just be the 3 3 coming out again. Try to take them down in that regard, but maybe they want to play. Some more uh, extravagant picks here. Maybe bring back that Ash for Carpe. Yeah, and this is where you're going to see a lot of Neptuno shine as well, and the Lucio, especially when you get past A. There's a lot of different terrain for him to set up the uh, you know, knockback with his Lucio on. And it's going to be one of those things where he can also control this high ground here too, so show a lot of his stuff in that matchup against Fozix, who had a great start, to be fair, on Ilios. Now, let's see what the comps are going to be. Sato already showing us this Winston here. And, you know, I I have to respect it. They've clearly been practicing. And he's been more attuned to the Winston style thus far here. Well, let's see what Giannis can get done on the Rhine. Fusion playing forward here onto the high ground. Taking some pot shots. Right click's coming down from Carbanks. He tries to build up that grab. Push forward. The mission by Fosix, but Giannis gets a pin there onto EQ open. He will be taken down by Carbank. It seems like the rest of the Justice is just going to be cleaned up here as the sweep comes through on their first attack. Yep. It's actually kind of handy, too, that Poco can hit these targets as they run away to get some more of his charge. He actually only gets a little bit of it, though. So. You know, actually going to get out alive? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, half shielding, the Zarya bubbles come through, so actually does manage to survive. Kip also got Corey's energy up a little bit higher through that, and got his own energy up to 60. He's tied with Boombox. Poco will swap to the Diva here because he did not get that damage done uh, to get the Remax, so I want to have that for the next fight. Unfortunate to lose that old charge, but it's only a little bit. You know, again, getting focus here. Such good target selection from the Fusion. That's what they've really been excelling at today, as long as their tank lines together. Look, dive into the back. Primal Range is going to be online here. Masato is going to pop it instantly. Has him locked up in a choke, but takes so much damage. Has to exit. Goes up over the top, dropping back down. Now going on with the aggression again. Looking for a target. Gets that armor pack. Guido stranded all alone next to the limousine. Will be taken down. Zaps come through. Barely manages to keep EQ alive. Auto just getting staggered a little bit. Nicely done here for the Fusion. They have a huge ult advantage, but it's not all over yet for the Justice because Guido, you know, didn't trance in that last fight. He's going to have that for this next one. Giannis as well, the Shatter. There's a lot of tools coming online in just a moment here for the Justice. But if this push doesn't work, if the Fusion actually are able to efficiently defend this push, we're looking like we might head into full, full territory. Good B grabs going to be coming down. Francis is going to be out. Carpe going lower and lower. They're trying to keep him alive. Armor pack will help do just that. So Graham is there. Sound barrier comes through. However, Fosix not yet with his online. Will have it for the extended fight as they work their way over onto the point for the first time. The ticks getting ready to build up. Sato going to be diving into the back, looking to disrupt the enemy team. Primal Rage is going to be ready to go. Bombs out from Sunset, looking for a pick, but not able to find it. Does make it back into the back. Neptuno alone, unable to deny that one away. Shadow comes back forward. Primal Rage going to be getting ready to expire. EQ up for now. Going to be the one base, mainly keeping this point contested. Sound barriers out. So Justice pushed their way into the cafe. Drop back down onto the point. Get the first tick. Starting to look good. Shadow coming out. But the Zarya Bubble is there. They managed to stay alive. Corey does manage to find Neptuno. It's going to be exchanged on the Lucios as Fosix gets taken down as well. Pushing their way forward. The cap getting ready to come through. Carpe dangerously low. One more right click. One more beam to finish him off. Sunset's able to find it. Grab is online here for Corey. He would love to hold on to it. It seems like he will be able to do so for the streets phase. Because Justice, they break open the point. Uh, Sato on the Winston, obviously getting that faster. Primal made it an easy defense. But after that push, you know, you're facing off against a Reinhardt. And Justice got onto the point. The Reinhardt always is going to do more damage in those moments than a Winston can. Not limited by, for example, ammunition that Winston's Tesla gun has. And he has the fire strike there as well. So that's the big damage output that was missing. Then Corey maintained high ground, got high energy, and they won the longer fight. Great delay by Fusion. Well, this is a good position now for the Justice. The way forward. They swap over from Sato. Giannis is going to have that shatter ready to roll. Grab straight in onto the card. Neptune to the first one he had picked up. And now Carpe taken down for the pin kill. Unable to find it, but 
Corey, 100 energy. She's gonna be melting everybody. Poco does not stand a chance. Getting beamed in from behind. He'll get popped out. Now, Boombox. One after the other, everybody gonna be taken down as the cart will continue to push. Justice, not gonna be the greatest time bank because of that initial oh, delay, sure. but they can certainly make this push happen because oh, look how many ults they have. They have the ult lead. Corey built half of another ult after that. They knew the timing here. Uh, and also that he had the ult advantage from the last fight to go in, use the grab, gain that value. They do not get up to control this choke point, unfortunately, so Philadelphia does get to spill out here. All on Neptuno to build that. Uh, sound barrier right now, though, he's so close to it. Rally out, Shatter gonna be going straight into the shield to set out. Even the block that one out, now the grab's gonna be coming through. Poco looking for the bomb. Drops in, gonna be one apiece for each D.Va. Healer and a tank on either side. Philadelphia Fusion, though, gained control of the cart and halted it. Right this in front is, of the saloon. This is the stabilization they needed because now they have the high ground. Now Neptuno can be annoying, can be frustrating on the Lucio. There's so many different ways they can engage on top of the Justice. Beating out that trance early away from the cart is probably going to be step one. Fortunately, they don't have a grab to do that. It's just recently used. But that's the idea here. They are going to use the high ground here as Carpe just lobs, bobs it, uh, bombs in. If we could lob bobs, that'd be pretty strong. But uh, yeah, we'll leave that to Ash. <laughs> Not yet. Only saw the one. Wasn't very effective from Carpe, but you see that ring around the Rosie coming through, Justice shifting themselves. Look at Neptuno. Opposite side of the point, Giannis gonna get popped up, and that's gonna be the Shatter coming down with the Sound Barriers in, stacking those ultimates, however, for the Justice. This could bite them in the rear if the fight goes long enough. Fusion right now, not gonna be taken down. Perfectly timed from Neptuno with the Sound Barrier on the back of the Transcendence. They push forward, they manage to find Giannis. That should just be the cleanup here. Sun Sun gets knocked out of the back as well. The tank line completely shattered. Two major plays from Neptuno. The disruption there on the Giannis, which, you know, led to uh, the fight kind of going into a little bit of a wonky place there. The Justice looked okay in that. If they recovered from it, Giannis included. But after that, we did see the sound barrier come through. Perfect timing there. They get to save the grab, they save the rally. And once again, high ground setup. See where Neptuno is? Always kind of keep your eyes on him because he's going to be the one who's going to set up the fight with Poco, scouting out the positioning and the angle at which the approach comes through. Neptune is going to sneak around and try to knock Giannis in or Corey so they can get that 6v4 fight. And well, the idea. Time going to be ticking down. 20 seconds remaining on the clock for the Justice. A couple ultimates to work with, but Kino! His coming online was going to be one of the major ones. He gets picked up by a fire strike. Now they're cutting all the way back. The grab comes through. They try to lock him up. Carpe doesn't find much on the back of that, but they at least get the kill here on Iyana as he knocks on some out of that mech. Into the back goes Fozix. Trying to force out that OT. Has he made it in time? They're booping him away. Does barely manage to touch the limousine. Shadow coming down into the front. Sun Sun manages to find Carpe with that bomb, but no one else can touch it. About halfway to B. Washington Justice cannot find even remotely completion here on Hollywood. And sometimes the unsung heroes are the Lucio players in these moments. You Absolutely. Know, Neptuno sets up two big fights there with their two big moments with this barrier and then the cutoff there on the Giannis. And then afterwards, is tracking Fozix and is dueling him on the point because if Fozix buys enough time, especially when Sansam's getting a self-destruct kill, Corey's coming in, Carpe died in that moment, suddenly you have a real chance to actually get the cart back. But Neptuno is, you know, watchful eyes, tracks Fozix, takes care of the cart while the rest of the team is zoning everybody out so they can't touch in. Very well played. And that's gonna be a very winnable Hollywood now for the attack for the fusion as it's not a very big push they can get a good time on A, and it just feels like they're just gonna roll it in. We'll come down to the defense from the Justice. See how much of a fight they can put up. Try to get that full hold here on Hollywood. Be a very impressive feat for them. But Fusion, as you're saying, looking poised to be able to take this second map and tie up this series. Hello? Onus is on Justice to surprise us. All right, for the defense here, Sato on Ryan. You see here at the bottom of your screen, Shock going up against the Spark, one of the featured matchups that we saw there on the desk. Gonna be on at Disney XD as well as Twitch TV. Indeed, check it out. Sato on the Ryan here for the attack. Very much uh, a more common way to attack as we saw Giannis do the same earlier rather than the Winston, so more comfort here. And the attack oftentimes will be decided by which Zenyatta gets transfers because that's one way you can force the fight and you can use your grab that comes from the damage you do during your basically immortality while the trance is running. Put Boombox their way up through yeah. the center. Boombox gonna be inching through security, trying to get some tags. Ooh. Nice flank. Yeah. 
Does manage to come back around the corner, keep himself safe. The rest of the team advancing, forcing Justice back over onto the point, but now they're gonna do that counter push, work their way back up, try not to lose any ground. All right, this is, uh, look at this positioning for Corey. He's trying to go up the stairs. Very risky what he did just there. Yep. He eats some damage for it. Close call there. Does get out. Drop down, gonna be coming through. Back of the point right now for Justice. Gonna play around the dumps with the boxes. Gonna keep themselves safe. Guido especially getting tagged up. Has to get that armor pack from Otto. Neptuno on the high ground, looking for a boop. Yep, now gonna be the counter push coming in. Still. No one fully committing to the fight. Guido's gonna be the first one to have the ult online. The Transcendent's ready to roll. Boombox nearly there. Takes a lot of damage. Guido snipes him out. So right, right there at the play. bottom left of your screen. Huge play. Finds a hit. That's gonna be the go button here for the Justice. Transcendent's out from Guido. Sato gonna be taken down. Billy Fusion lose out onto the rest of them trying to retreat. Justice gonna be pushing forward, looking to get any stagger kills that he can possibly find. But the sequel here for the Philadelphia Fusion, the second attack will come at a, at a price for the Justice. That trance that Guido just used will not be available for their next defense against Carpe's grab. So Carpe can maximize his energy as he comes around and get a position to get that grab. It's huge. D-Matrix just used there as just well. Eat the grab. Just yeah, eat that, the grab. He's got it. If he eats it, there's that's the best chance of defending this realistically here. Forehead. All right, Fire Strike going through. EQO going to be going low. Grab is ready to roll. To build up that energy. Carpe not really getting fed much. Transcendence is going to be used by Boombox. Now, he doesn't have it for Corey's grab. Yeah, this is going to get a little bit awkward. This could swing either way. They didn't and commit. Much more of a 50-50. Shadow going to be coming down. Sato not going to find anything. Giannis building up. A couple more fire strikes. We'll have his ready to roll. Let's get taken away by the d Mag tricks. Sato's got to kite back. Boombox as well getting tagged up. But Justice so far looking fantastic on this defense. Neptuno will going get picked off. Now, this is Fusion is, I think, in a lot of ways trying to replicate NYXL's style in terms of slow fighting going in only when it looks like the perfect moment, right? But that cost them. Carpe had a grab, which could have locked everyone in. It's not always necessary to wait for high energy grabs, but he wasn't willing to do it. Sato then panicked after the fight was clearly lost and threw a shatter down, only hit Sansam, who was immediately healed back up by Otto. Nice play on the Brigida. And now the Fusion lost a lot of time in that really slow fight. They were, you know, losing over time as Corey holds the grab now. He's still got high energy. And this is kind of the last shot Fusion's gonna have, you have to think. Yeah. Against the big six, it's not looking good. Certainly is not. Need to engineer a massive team fight win. Otherwise, Jess is gonna be moving up 2-0. Grab's still gonna be online. Carpe, not that high on the energy. Grab comes out over from Corey. They find two. Now three as Carpe gets taken down. 50 seconds remaining. Fusion, they do have an opportunity. They can reset to come back in, but it's one final fight. Yeah, and the huge thing here, too, in terms of ultimates used is that the Justice only really use the grab and the rally. They have all the support ultimates available still. Good patience there by Guido. They all, Guido and Fozix trusted that Otto's rally would be well-timed. It would be enough mitigation of damage to survive that fight. Now they have the answers for this final push. Grass out. Hits him in onto the wall. Poco gonna be looking for the bomb. There's that one up over the top. They get the boop up, but it's not gonna be enough, Guido. It's stay alive. Tag ultimates again. Is that gonna bite them? In the rear, we'll have to wait and see. Corey's the first one taken down. Pogo going forward, has a nice back angle here on the honest, and they will be able to finish him off. Eight seconds remaining, the kills come through, and Philly Fusion here in the final hour, it seems like they have been able to break through. They will be able to get this cap on A, but very limited time bank. It's just as they are putting up fights, they're looking good right now on Hollywood. They very well could stop them. I know it sounds like a broken record at this point, but when the Zario dies first, you just can't win the fight, right? And Philadelphia Fusion was able to isolate Corey after a really nice angle on the bomb for Poco that kind of split the Justice in half. They couldn't really fight properly around that. Super well done. They've got, you know, one more shot here now. Well, they're looking to go aggro to buy some space, move that cart up the majority of the way. So rally out from EQO. Just to say, okay, no problem. We'll pull back, we'll wait for that arm to go away, we'll chip away at it. Shatter's gonna be coming through. Giannis has the shield. Nothing to be gained there. Carpe still trying to build up the grab. Corey just a little bit further ahead of him. Yeah, very low actually is Corey. Yeah, he's playing very aggressively up in the limousine. Now it's going to be the calendar rally out from the Justice League. Push forward. Philly Fusion. I'm mean, all the way back into the cafe, but oh man, maybe they fell into a trap. 
There's Carpe. He locks him in with a grab. mozzie has been taken down. Bomb up over the top. Manages to find Corey. The string grab is in, but now Boombox has that transcendent. They will be able to stay alive. And this is going to be the push forward here for the Fusion. Brilliant play by the Fusion. They called the speed boost from Fozix. Fozix speed boosted there. As you said, they kind of hit the go button. They were going to go in for the fight. They saw blood in the water. And immediately, Fusion calls, let's retreat back at this choke. We'll have the advantage there. Carpe says, I've got grab. I can lock them in after they come in. They've already lost their speed boost. Perfect execution, defending their very fast reaction. It may win them this map. Very well could. Somebody's got to get there. Corey tagged up so far away from the grab. Where's Carpe? Nearly got another one. Sound barrier is going to be coming through from Fosix as he tries to keep everybody alive. They have to stay glued to the card, however. Just 1.11 meters left to go now. Otto going to be taken down. Carpe and Sato both under fire. The rally in from Ishiro. Trying to keep them alive. He's so low. He's thrown in as soon as he gets it. Hangs on by a sliver. And that should be enough. They will be able to push forward as they finish them off. Billy Fusion tie up this series 1 1. Yeah, we talked about not being able to finish off targets. At Looks like you're going to kill them, but it's not. They're one third of fusion, of fusion in that regard. That's what we're talking about. Carpe is super low, but they just can't kill him. Well, fusion, some stutter there at the beginning, but now it's starting to look more alive. Let's see who can take the lead when we come back from the break. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T Mobile. High ground or low ground, T Mobile has you covered. And by State Farm. Whatever life brings your way, State Farm is here to help life go right. The Washington Justice and Philadelphia Fusion are both looking to bounce back from a rough week two. They're all tied up currently at one apiece coming oh. into the halftime. Welcome back into the Blizz Arena. How's everybody doing? You guys good? Yes, it's Thursday. We're kicking off week three with a great matchup. A very even matchup so far. I've got Zoe, I've got Brent, I'm Puckett, as you know, and we've got a lot of things to talk about in this halftime, starting with new looks from both teams. Now, we knew they had a rough week two. We wanted to see an improved roster on both sides of the stage. 
Zoe, what did we learn as we went back to that first map of Ilias? <laughs> well, I think Ilias was a bit of a back and forth with a lot of uh, little surprises coming in from the, uh, both of those teams. We did yeah. talk a lot about Sado being uh, preferably on Winston. Um, that's pretty much what we saw. He went Winston whenever he could, and it only really started to look good when they ran into a Winston mirror match, uh, because that's really where Philly excelled. However, every time Justice went back to that Reinhardt pick where they're feeling really comfortable and where they execute very, very uh, clean, this is where Philly just struggled and ran into a wall. Yep, I completely agree with that, Zoe. Match one, it was definitely Washington Justice's game in the way that they, they played the same passive style that they usually play into. And when you're running Winston against that, you need to be looking for opportunities to engage on the enemies. And this here, you can see as well, Philadelphia. There's a Farah. They're running far, they're running damage dealers, you know, who would have known? They're still in the game, apparently. But it was, uh, it, this was interesting because Philly are trying to be cute all the time with these little strategies. When I think if they just stuck to the basics and stuck to what they know, even just playing the Reinhardt triple tank, triple support, they would have had much better results in that first map. Yeah, and we were talking about it backstage. We said, oh my goodness, they're just sitting in a spawn. Well, we are knowing, they're waiting to find out what is the enemy comp. After 15 seconds, it's revealed. They come out with the DPS, but by then, Washington had basically already won that third heat. So now you're down 0-1. It looks like it's gonna be Washington up 2-0 at the half. This one went back and forth. What did you see from Sato as he went to Hollywood, Brent? Yeah, it was definitely not a clean game by any stretch of the imagination from, from these guys. But Sato, when they switched to the Reinhardt, this is what I was kind of screaming at the map, because I think Philly's team play is better than Washington still. So if they try to match them and mirror their composition with the Reinhardt versus Reinhardt, they should do better in theory, and they did in map two. As you can see, Sato was kind of leading the way with a lot of his play. You know, it goes around that he's not that comfortable playing this. He'd much rather be on the Winston. But overall, Philadelphia Fusion, they excelled in all of their old combinations. You can see the stats here between these two guys as well. You can see Sato just kind of outmatching Janus as well when it comes to the Reinhardt. And this is mainly because he's being supported way better by his team as well. The team play, as I mentioned before, way better for Philadelphia across the board. And that's how they took the edge on the second half. But it was still shaky. I will say that. You know, it's not... They're not out of the water just yet, if you're Philly, you know? Very fundamental play so far from the Justice. Is it good enough to beat the Fusion in your eyes today, Zoe? It can be, honestly. After uh, what we saw on map one, I do think that uh, they definitely have what it takes to beat a team such as uh, Fusion. Both teams made a lot of mistakes, a lot of small errors, which accumulated in, uh, well, lost maps in the end. So let's see who can bring it home in the second half. Bren, who wins this whole thing? You went Philly before the match kicked off. Yeah, I'm sticking with Philly for this one, Puckett. I think they're gonna be able to take this as long as they stick to these Ryan comps and don't try anything fancy again. Don't don't get fancy, Phil. I like that fancy. call. Guys, let us know how does this play out in the Twitch bat chat. Twitch chat. We'll be back <laughs> with the second half after this. They don't just play for a team. They play for every fan, every rival, every moment, every match. And when everyone watching expects the best, they perform with the best.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through our series right now between the Washington Justice and the Philadelphia Fusion. Tied up 1-1, Ilio scoring the way of Washington, and then Hollywood to Fusion. Yeah, it's been a very uh, back and forth matchup so far. And a lot of it has, I think a lot of these fights have really come down to the coordination and targeting, but also a lot of the Lucio play as well. I'm going to take a look at a stats card here between these two. You can see that in terms of healing done, look at Fozzik's healing output versus Neptuno. He almost triples it basically here, I mean, close to tripling. But that is a huge disparity, but that means that Neptune is mostly using speed boost. He's mostly away from his team trying to set up big plays. And Fozix, on the other hand, is with his team more of the time, but it's still in risky positions because he's died several more times, was picked off first in a lot of those fights there on Hollywood. So even though Fozix is setting up a lot of good plays, the sound barriers have been good overall. Neptuno just has the edge in this meta. He better understands healing is not always the most important factor. Well, we'll have some subs, it seems. here. Stratus. Gonna be coming in for Otto. So, making his debut right now on the stage for the Justice. Exciting to see how he'll do. It'll be his first Overwatch League match. High pressure situation as right now, this is the closest I think the Justice have ever been to a victory. I, it, it kind of feels that way. Again, it's, it's, you know, it's one map win. This could just be a sweep for the rest of it, but it just seems like the fights are going their way more so. Philly Fusion is not quite in their normal groove at the moment, so they certainly could get the ball and roll with it in this matchup, but high pressure indeed to throw Stratus in. And he's gonna be, at least for the start of things here on defense, on the Ana. So perhaps an Ana specific situation here. They saw the Brigida player out. So triple support defense here, very sustainable. And a lot of heal deny potential here with this bio grenade. The choke is very powerful. You're going to and, you know, right now, obviously, Fusion is just slowly trying to figure out how they want to approach. Nice pick here by Boombox, Well, though. now they're not going to approach slowly. They're just going to go ahead and steamroll their way through. Giannis going to take it down. Going to be very crucial here for this defense. We'll be respawning. We'll be able to join back in, in theory, before this point gets taken. Unless Fusion can find some more picks, such as Fosix, who's dangerously low there on the high ground. Instead, they're going to welcome the new guy as Boombox picks up a 2K, taking down that support line. Corey under some fire. It will be burned down here in the end, and that's just going to be a very healthy time bank for Philadelphia. Fortunate that Stratus' debut as Ana was practically irrelevant to their, uh, you know, defense here because of that opening pick. Not that he played a poor Ana, but just because it was a 6v5 fight that Justice couldn't realistically win. Corey stayed on the point a little bit longer to build up that grab and to buy some time. Ooh, Guido. Otherwise, across the board, they are behind, and Stratus with a late swap here means that rally is so far away. Push around the left-hand side here from the attacker's perspective. Shield's gonna be coming up. Boombox still gonna be spamming away in that back side of the fight. 90 to 65% surging ahead of Guido at the moment. As one would expect, given how many kills we saw him pick up there on A. But playing patiently, making sure that everyone's gonna be at 100%, getting that. Krenz said it's ready to roll. Red Senate's now gonna be coming down. Boombox popping this one. Glory going low. Stratus gonna be the first one taking down. Asada finds the kill. Solo Shatter in on the Giannis. Tries to get the pin, but instead hits the Zen. So Guido able to keep his Ryan alive and in the mix for a little bit longer. But in the meantime, they focus in on Sensem. They get rid of that Diva. The first stick gonna be grabbed by the Fusion. Fire strike through, weakens up Boombox, but they need a lot more than that. They still have zoning goals, they still have the bomb grab combo. Poco could be locked up solo here on the bridge, but no one can focus him down, no one can pop him out. And even if they did, there's so many other members of Philadelphia to worry about. Desperation bomb coming in from Sensem, looking for a pickoff. Does manage to get Neptuno. A characteristic positioning from him. But the rest of the team trades it back, they get the cap. If you watch the beginning of that fight, you'll see that there were two groups of Justice members, three on the left side, three on the right. And that is exactly what you want to do as an attacking team, is basically split the team up into two groups and, you know, then of course collapse upon them. Very well played. And take a look at Boombox here on this. Push back around. Straight into the back of Giannis. Yep. Nothing that he really could do. I mean, it seems like he's uh, he's feeling a, a lot better. We missed him yep. for the first couple matches, but now he's coming in. He's finding that momentum. 
And we're used to seeing from him on the Zenyatta. Only damage amplifying 624, but that's the big story here is the limbs. He gets that opening pick on A, which allows him to take it for free and gives them a huge ult advantage. Sometimes in this meta, the Zenyatta's become the star when they get that opening kill. You know, when you look at players like Jodak and Tw Twilight, who are really up there leading in those in the league at the moment, yep. you're going to see that a lot. And Boombox back in play here, that's the X factor, right? Rather than Elk, who is kind of flexing into his position, this is a, you know, Zenyatta player has been honed and trained, and he's studied the hero so much that he knows how to find these angles. He's been very aggressive. He's been flanking even, as we saw in Hollywood sometimes, to try to get that damage maximized and it does show here but yeah good split up there by fusion on b to take that uh you know fight and washington justice now looking like guido's gonna do that opening potential snipe and then we'll just swap off actually not even gonna not even gonna mess with it we're playing forward here so this setup with the winston with the diva is exactly set up to cut the team in half like i was mentioning before and it's it kind of relies on that element of surprise to where the Winston is hiding. You can see, you know, she's just off to the left here. You see that silhouette. Spawning out Polka, he's gonna be pushing forward straight through the middle. Sada has managed to find Fosix. He goes low, but he leaps back over to the point, keep himself alive. Polko and what's really picks up cool, a health pack. What's really cool about this fight is it's super efficient for the fusion. And Carpe is building energy during this as well. Sato goes low, but he does not die. And this gives Carpe a lot of opportunities to build energy, do that damage, build a graph. Nice retreat from the Justice. Oh, gonna be trying this one again. They drop back down, stop them from moving forward, but Poco loses out on the mech this time. Shield taking a beating. Box is trying to find a target. So far, hasn't been able to build up too much with regard to that transcendence. Dangerously low at the moment is Sato. Primal Rage nearly ready to roll. Swing over to the point. Will be able to survive for the moment. Box, however, under a lot of pressure, drops down onto the low ground, but they are able to push forward. They get the kill on him. Now the Primal Rage has to come out from Sato. Taking up here onto the point. Giannis, however, going to be charging back, looking for that pin. He's unable to find it. How they give up their position on the point. Uh, this is actually really nice for the Justice. Giannis as Reinhardt here on the point. So difficult to break. Asada will be taken out away. Sansom chasing him down. There's no way his teammates get support. He wanted to tag back into delay. It won't happen. Yep. This is going to be a great time bank here for the Justice to attack B. And Sato will swap over to the Rhine. Now, the double cap potential is real, though, with that late swap from Sato and the grab available here. Boombox is going to have to counter it with his trance. Nearly five ultimates ready to go for the Justice. Fusion getting those few that they have online very shortly here. Poco not having the bomb. Probably going to be one of the B. biggest X factors here that could play to the Justice's favor. Corey holding on, trying to build up that energy. Stun did, goes a little bit low, but now the energy's gonna be built up. Throws in that grab straight in onto the point. Bomb up over the top. Sun's gonna be looking at the pick. Shield comes down, Neptune on the shatter! Gonna get taken down, but the shatter's on the back of but now they need the kills in order to break open this point. The North Infusion still trying to hold on. The shield going lower and lower here for Sato as he tries to survive. Boombox is gonna be picked off. Neptuno rejoining, does have that sound barrier ready to roll, but everybody's already so dangerously low. He's only gonna be catching three. Sato not gonna be able to receive that shield. Over two ticks gonna be gained to the Washington Justice. Will not be able to best the time established by the fusion, but they're gonna get pretty darn close if they can close this out right now. Very close here. There's no way to realistically delay Boombox cut off. A couple more seconds is really all that they need. They finish off Poco. Seems like it's gonna be Neptuno up over the top trying to delay, but they're able to beat him down. Fosix finds the kill, and that's gonna be the finish. Washington Justice, fantastically done. Get the finish here on Neptuno well of a new miss. Well played here. Nicely done. This is a very close series we're watching right now, Achilles. Yep, 5.17 to 5.34. We'll come back with the OT in just a little bit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Washington Justice, 517, the time bank here for them. Not too far behind the fusion. Fantastically done attack. Take yeah. a look at Giannis here. 
the shatter ends up being incredibly done here. Look at the angle he's got here. In this one tiny window of time set up by the bomb from Sansom, he's able to make this happen. Perfectly done. Yep, bomb. Very quick reaction time. Shattering the shield. Asada was trying to hold up, and then the shatter comes down. Watching Injustice. Both teams, plenty of time in the bank. It's really going to be about the performance here. Let's see if they can have as successful of an attack as they did last time out. This time, not going to be caught. Yeah. Sado not going to catch him with the trick this time. They do react well. And he's knocked back here. Nice play by Sansom. And they have this middle bridge control. Now they get to focus him down. Oh, yeah, they push forward. Corey manages to find the kill. Takes him out. Carpe's still going to be up on the high ground. Loud with these right clicks, looking for some kills. But Guido, huh? Pops Poco out of that mech and takes him down. This is terrifying for the fusion. They can't really even delay this that much. They're going to build too much, give too much ult charge Old over here. Stratus going lower and lower. Neptuno managed to follow up for the kill, but they lose out onto Carpe. It was just at 60% of that grab. Corey's still going to be lagging further behind in that regard, but the point is going to be broken open. In Washington Justice, they are going to be able to get the cap. Super well played by the Justice to target Sato, knowing when his leap was on cooldown just finding where he was, he was isolated, and they were not going to attack the point until they had that opportunity. Very similar style to NYXL right now we're seeing from them, you know, their former coach of the NYXL, their coach now, so I guess some things never change, but here we go, wrapping around the right side. Trying to get him off the high ground, unable to do so, Stratus under a lot of fire, will be focused down, EQ able to find that kill. But Sansom fires back into the boom box. He had the transcendence available. Now they're going to go ahead and push their own. You know, popping the ult as they work their way over onto the point. Deciding that this is the time, but now Carpe, he's got a grab online. They're going to have to rely on a sound barrier, really, to deal with it, but we're not going to see the ult yet. Carpe starts shredding people left and right. We'll be able to get Corey everything in that kill feed, just Carpe at the moment. Yeah. As well, Sansam, we know how this goes. You're not going to feel too terrible as the justice to be delayed like this because, you know, you have uh, a decent time make. You got your first cap on your first push, so, so it's very frustrating. And now it will finally be taken down by EQO. Needs the ult charge pretty badly at the moment. But the justice, their next attack here is going to be pretty ill-fated given the defensive set the Fusion have in terms of ultimates. What they want to do ideally is force Fusion to use multiple ultimates, especially if they could use both support ultimates there and then follow up the next attack with a grab. So if they can hold the grab and force that, that's ideal. Very difficult to do that at this level of play. Rallies out from Stratus. A lot of damage going in onto the Justice at the moment. Lossix playing the high crown. Push back for a moment. Works his way into the catacombs to rejoin with his squad. Guido halfway to that next transcendence. Have to be double support here for the fusion. Pin, however, comes it's through. Huge. The shatter's gonna be massive. Oh, Giannis knocks them all right on their rears. The grab comes in. They'll clean them up. Washington just is in onto the point, and they still have almost three minutes remaining in the time bank. Huge play by Giannis. The double play. Shatter out. Oh, okay, not two. Giannis couldn't get the shield up in time. But they do manage to survive for a little bit longer. Sound barrier going to be coming in from the side of the fusion. Strat is going to be taken down. Fosix holding onto a barrier, waiting for the transcendence to expire from Guido. Still not dropping the beat. Grab blocking him up. The sound barrier coming in perfectly to keep everybody alive. Sato trying to play forward, trying to get up there. Nearly has another Earth Shatter ready to go. Guido going to be taken down, but Giannis taken up by Neptuno. The fusion, they push back. They do not allow them to finish the map here. 86% gained by the Justice. Still. 2.15 remaining in the clock, but Fusion barely hang on. It's the story of the Rhines right now. You know, we had the huge play there from Giannis on previous B. He gets the charge kill into the Shatter, but does not block the ensuing Shatter from Sato. It looked like he was going to have it. I mean, I called it out that he blocked it because you could see he was starting the animation there, but it was just a split second too late. Sato defends, close call. Now he's got another Shatter ready. As we see this next attack coming through, it's again tough for the Justice with the support ultimate for Boombox Online. Dropping into the back, looking for those boops to try to isolate targets. Skeeto going to be taken down. It's a death ball at the moment as everybody's just on top of everyone, but will be the Justice and walking away with death. Great work by our, our observing team to highlight as well in this moment that Neptuno was the guy looking to set up these fights from the high ground and split the team. Uh, and that is precisely what he did there. Did a, quite a bit of damage as well building up to 70% of that sound barrier. The Justice are just gonna have to try it again. Very likely we'll take the left path here. Sansom slowly building up to that remech. Very much a risky situation here for them since he's so low. He's even gonna flank to try to get it. 
If he dies here, it's a disaster. He has to back away. It's buying so much time for the fusion. Under a minute. This point, Justice. Finishing. Temple of the Divas here in OT, getting that double cap. Be absolutely massive for them. Finally makes their way back into the mech. One gonna be knocked down, Corey. It's the crown on the back of the shatter, but does manage to stay alive. Guido popping the transcendence. Let's keep them in the fight. But now it's two to zero in support ultimates. Just the rally now expiring here from Stratus. They need to make use of this armor. So that'll get stunned up. The bubble instantly comes through from Carpe, keeping him alive. Poco, the nice away, Corey's ground. Now they answer back with one of their own. The bomb is straight into the thing of things. Poco looking for the bomb. It's gonna be a 2K over to him. 23 seconds remaining. Sets up trying to make it out with the mech intact, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to do so. Oh, They're close. hounding him down. He's they caught. put him outside. He's gotta get knocked down. Dumps out the stuff the truck to try to stay alive. They're trying to get back in, but they finish him off. Struggles of a diva player. Oh, feels unlucky, but this is going to be their last shot. They have to boost in to touch the point. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, Fozzie is trying to get there in time. Barely manages to tag into the corner, but Giannis has already been taken down. Noxano there onto the low ground. Corey trying to sprint his way across the bridge, but he cannot make it. 86%, I do believe, for the Justice on that attack. Yeah, disappointment on the Justice players' faces, but it is not over yet. The good defense here, they certainly could take the map. I don't think that the Fusion will be so lucky to have an opening boombox kill on this attack with the right clicks coming out from the Zenyatta. We're going to take a look here, a replay from Poco. Setting up for this bomb, you can see he's at 96% here. Takes that one away. Straight in on top. And the most impressive part of this too actually is in order to place it exactly where he did, he had to cancel his boosters at the perfect moment so that it wouldn't fly forward into the uh, the hallway there. It's on the right side for defender's perspective. And this guy is just fantastic at setting up bombs. That's where the term Poco Bomb comes from. Yep. <laughs> 18 and three. Three kills with that self-destruct. We saw just two of them right there. Yeah. So, you know, he's, got a, he's, he's working back up to the Poco Bomb status. The yeah, point. sure. Those kills right. are the, the critical ones, though, for the defense, right? That yeah. timing there. He's getting them when it matters. Exactly. So Stratus will be back on, or Stratus, excuse me, will be back on the Ana here. So maybe this time we'll actually get to see that come into play because it pairs really well with the Winston. Giannis is going to take this similar uh, setup location to what yeah. we just saw from Sato here. Deja vu. Yeah. It's different colors. We didn't get to see this Ana strategy because of that boombox kill last time, so let's see how this pans out in reality. The bubble. That drops down. Not really going to be getting too much charge off of that. Bubble's helping absorb a lot of that. Stratus going to be taking some shots here from the opposing high ground. Nice heal there on the leaping Winston. Okay, here comes the approach from the left side. They need to react to this quickly. Fozix has already seen it. They're going to relocate back down to the low ground. It's such an awkward spot here, especially for Guido and Stratus, because they don't know which way to go. You can see they go up with the bridge, and they, oh no, let's go to the back of the point. Exactly. Corey, so which way to turn. Corey doing tons of damage. He's high energy now, too, but they do need to collapse back onto the point. But now they have to get onto the low ground. Neptuno trying to disrupt them up top, trying to force them back. Corey doing a ton of damage. Yeah, Giannis will be able to match. He's got 100 energy, ready to roll. Right click comes through. QO going to be taken down. Everybody trying to hide in behind this shield. It's not at the moment. Really patient play from the Justice. It feels like they've really watched a lot of what the NYXL have done and have replicated that, especially with how they're playing Giannis on this Winston, former NYXL player himself. Heal deny here, not massive, unfortunately, but Stratus is finally getting close to that nano boost, and that means that Giannis could play very aggressively in that moment. He's practically immortal with that burst heal. I do have that, but Guido here. Falling back behind, only 50% to the 90 of Boombox for those Transcendences. Look at how far back they play. On his way back through, Corey still high energy grab, nearly online, now has it. With that last right click, energy is ready to roll. When do they want to pull the trigger on the fight? Already had one grab taken out. away in the last fight. Giannis going to be taken down now. That could be crucial. Do they just surrender the point? Do they still want to fight this? Grab's still going to be thrown in. Sets up in from behind, drops down the bomb. Transcendence is out from Boombox. They layer into the sound barrier at the same time. Fusion taking the fight, trying to stay alive. Answering grab comes through from Carpe, pinning them into the wall. Guido, Transcendence is going to expire. They're able to clean him up as Sunsum gets popped out of the mech. 
extended fight coming through, but Philly Fusion looking like they will be able to take point A. A couple losses in yeah, that scrappiness. Honest, I feel like the Justice really overused ultimates in that fight, in, in particular Guido's transcendence. But let's go back to what really matters. We didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure Stratus nano Janus early by mistake and didn't save him because the idea was for them, for them uh, to then play around his primal rage. Never got to use it, he died and everything fell apart from there, but Guido should not have used that trance. That is really gonna come back to bite them here on this defense because that's the ultimate you need when Philadelphia Fusion's rolling across here with a the shatter, they've got the bomb set up. You're not gonna have that sustainability anymore. I mean, you can throw the, the argument as well for the grab out from Corey. maybe just hold that, try yeah. to go in all, all in on that Three. defense. Primal range now gonna be coming through Pianis, gonna zone them back into the catacombs. An awkward angle here, checking him out, but now rejoins in. Separates Saddle from the rest of his squad. Shatter came down, but nobody died. Fozix able to keep people up with that sound barrier shield. Pushing their way back through, however, one tick already going to be gained by the Philly Fusion. Still 2.45 left on the clock. The second tick nearly coming in. They just have the best 86%. Now Stratus going to be taken down. Giannis down to half HP as a sun in the mech. Goes up onto the high ground trying to stay alive. Grab comes through. Locks up Gito here onto the bridge. Corey going to be taken down. A bomb out from Boko. Not going to find anything, but it doesn't need to because they're able to find the kills just with their basic abilities. Yeah. Billy Fusion will be able to go ahead and get that double cap here. We'll never know what the auto was really supposed to do. The execution a little off. The nano boost just a second too early. Yep. And it cost them the map. Rough timings from them. Field of Fusion leading two to one. Can they close it out? Let's find out when we come back from the break. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Fusion able to take the lead here in the series with that victory on Temple of Anubis. But Justice have been keeping things close throughout this set so far. Certainly could try to pick up that victory here on our final map. Route 66 getting ready to come up. And if they can do that, 
Maybe map five. Yeah, be could be. I'm, I'm kind of uh, excited for a potential map five here. Both these teams have been at each other's throats. I mean, they have been really close matches as well. Even Anubis, you know, had things gone a little bit different there with that last shatter being blocked from Giannis. Who knows? You know, we might still be doing overtime rounds right now. But, you know, the Justice overall have been looking better today. And I think they really are, in a lot of ways, playing so similar to how NYXL has approached this meta on Anubis. We will have Otto back in. Strat is clearly in for some sort of Ana A defense that unfortunately went a little bit awry there with the early nano boost. Yeah, maybe not the most comfortable on that Ana pick, but now we'll just be seeing him coming back through. So good to see Stratus get his debut on the Owl stage, but Route 66 could very well be our final map unless the Justice can pick up that victory and force us to a game five tiebreaker. Normally that would be stressful because I mean, I look like a look like a substitute art teacher. You know? <laughs> if this goes too late, I'm not going to make it to my night class. I got to teach those guys. Teach them how to draw paintings that look like the shirts that Uber wears on the broadcast. Yeah, and if you're late, I, uh, I you know, I'm going to need I'm going to need to help you out, but I can't pick Bumper up from school. It's it's a big it's a big match. That's true. You are his uh, now you're considered his father at this point. Yes. Thanks for that one, Pucket. <laughs> I'm Bumper's dad. So, so proud of my boy. You should be. <laughs> He's doing good work. But let's see what these guys got for us. Yeah, we'll be Philly to attack first, and that's usually where you see the more creative uh, styles come out because the defender is at a disadvantage because they cannot swap composition. Uh, when the attacking comp comes out that counters theirs, they can't just run back to spawn, whereas the uh, attacking team comes out with that surprise sometimes. We do see Carpe highlighting the Symmetra at the moment, but I don't believe it. We'll see him open with the Widow shots and then change. Yep, doesn't get anything, goes straight to... The Zarya. Yep. Sign of the meta. Well, up here onto the high ground. Shot just going to be coming down. Got us playing alone at the moment. Down below. Trying well, to get that Very greedy. Yeah. Almost gets taken out because of that. Dangerous game. The Fosik is playing. Push for it, though. Otto going to be taking down Carpe. Just annihilates him as Giannis also will be eliminated. Sato going to be the only one traded so far for the fusion, but the cart will start rolling as they go ahead and clean up the rest of the Justice. Yeah, this is very rough for the Justice. Oh. Staggered to the base. That's just brutal. Sansom staggered as well there. Maximum charge gained from Carpe. Is, you know, doesn't even look at the D.Va after he right clicks. He just moves on with his life. I'll have the high ground controlled for the reapproach here for the Justice. Always feels weird when the attacking team actually becomes the defender on Route 66 because they're defending the defensive team who comes out of this choke. And with not a ton of energy here for Carpe, they should be able to break through this bridge. Interesting low there for Carpe. Down below half, but pushes his way back onto the low ground. Joining in with the card. EQO, however, disconnected. Does get taken down by Guido. Nice pick off here for the Justice. Might be enough for them to stabilize. Boombox, however, under pressure. Feels the need to use that Transcendence. Kido will be matching him with one of his own. So the Fusion's going to be pushed all the way back around to the initial corner. Yeah, this is actually really well played by the Justice. And just basically executing the attack there to control high ground with the speed boost very well from Fozix. Now so much damage is being given over to the side of the Fusion as they try to get this high ground back. Boombox nearly dying. He doesn't have a Trance anymore for the grab that Corey holds. So this is a great position for the Justice now. Oh, steps out, fire strike to the dome. Yeah, nice reaction there by Giannis. We'll, uh, we'll get healed back up. Grab held by Carpe, waiting for an opportunity. Giannis going lower and lower, gets the armor back to stay alive. Grab straight in onto the pillar to lock them up. Bomb thrown down. They got to get rid of that shield. Not going to be able to find any pickoffs with that one. No rematch. Can't make it back in. Corey, he beams him down. Shatter Another comes in. Shatter. Corey locked up. Neptuno going to be going down. Corey picks up a triple in the fight. What a turnaround from the Justice. And just point 34 meters away from the completion on A. Giannis was really a big redemption story, it feels like, this afternoon. I mean, he has always been one of the misfit uh, Reinhardt players. Even if you go back as far as his LW days, right? And now, you yep. know, on NYXL, it's a little bit shaky. Today, tonight, you know, this afternoon, 5 p.m., <laughs> he is killing it, you know, I, and he's hitting these shadows when he needs to. I think if he gets him the win, we have to start calling him the Washington Justice. <laughs> it's just to honor him because he's playing out of his mind right now. Over on the other side, on top of Big Earls. 
still just trying to play that high ground. Giannis will be dropping down to keep the card contested as best as possible. So Boombox. Execution starts inching their way up. He needs to stay alive here for this trance. He gets healed by that pack. There's the trance. Yeah, trance is going to be early through. though. Looking for that pin. Can't quite tell what's going on inside the game. But the Ryans is going to be swinging like madman on top of each other. Uh -oh. Shadow comes in from Sato. Bomb up over the top. Looks for the big sons up. Gets rid of Polko. Make sure that he cannot be spamming away in that pilot form. Another fire strike as Giannis picks up multiple kills in the fight. I think Boombox panicked a little bit there. You know, he had the heal come through uh, from EQO. He had the burst heal there, and he needed to stay alive. He used the trance to get them into that position. But because he used it early, there was just no answer for the follow-up grab from Corey, who had high energy. Now, once again, the high ground's controlled. This is starting to look like a full hold I here. Mean, no support ults for the fusion. 18 seconds remaining, just the rally to lead. Sato losing out on that shatter in the last fight. Giannis gonna be holding one of his own. Fosix getting closer to that sound barrier. Again, they collapse for. They try to get on top of Giannis. Doesn't find anything with the Earth Shatter. The cart advancing. Somebody's gonna have to tag this. To the night. Corey. Corey drops down. Uh, going low. Sunset -sun pushing forward. Nearly losing out onto the mech. The rally comes in, just trying to armor him up. It's not gonna be enough. But Pogo gets knocked out of the mech. Now the grab's gonna be coming through. They lock him up right here onto the corner. Big girls responding. Crab out from Corey. They find two. Can Corey they do it? Corey around. Going lower and lower. But Pogo, he's got the pilot pistol into the back of the ride. Takes him down, gets back into the suit. Guido delaying, pops the transcendence. Maybe uh, should have just held this one for the street space. They're 0.02 meters away. You're gonna die. They're gonna get A. They do. Back when Guido was on Lunatic High in Korea, he was one of the players most known for using ults at the last moment and wasting them. And this is one of those moments for sure because you know your teammates aren't getting back. This is the interrupt on Giannis' and Shatter, by the way, from EQO. Uh, we just had a replay of that. That's why his Shatter did not go off in that last fight. Very nicely done. But, you know, that trance missing here is actually kind of a problem because you can use it in a lot of ways. It's not always just for countering grabs, but you can commit to fights with it, you know, when you're not on the point. Uh, it's just totally gone. Well, Boombox going to be using his. Corey taking himself out with a right click. And that will just be the cleanup as Fusion will finally start really advancing with this cart. It was very slow, obviously, there for A, but now making very good time to try to compensate here during the streets phase. Very, uh, you know, sigh of relief moment here for the Fusion because that was looking really rough, but now they've turned this around completely. Massive ult leads. Guido not even halfway to his trance. Carbe is absolutely going to have the scrappers. Look at how far they are even from getting on and touching this point. The Fusion look very primed to get an insane push here through B. Look at Neptune, look at this, put him up. Giannis yes. coming straight in behind the ride. Boops him up, the Shadow comes down again. They do manage to find Corey, but the sound barrier is going to be good. And Otto fires back. He's rid of that enemy Reinhardt. So Otto going to be taken down. EQO. The Briggs exchanging the Reinhardt's here, but now he falls up for a double. He gets rid of Fozix. Boombox gets himself a double kill as well. And this should be B completion here. Philadelphia Fusion bumping that time bank back up. It was a near full hold on A for the Justice, but now struggling to gain control of the card. Yeah, and you know we're going to take a look at this last moment here as the boop up comes through from Neptuno. He has an opportunity to watch this. Jaws is knocked up. Shatter goes right underneath. This is the kind of play I've been talking about with Neptuno that you've always got to look out for. Fusion, though, was not getting Corey as well with that pan. Tons of diving in front. But they wrap around, they gain control of the back side of the cart as they try to find a pickoff. Only ult at the moment for Fusion is going to be the Transcendence, and Boombox uses that one instantly. Guido's going to be matching. Grab now online for Corey, throws it down, but he doesn't find anybody. Not even through the wall, it's too thick, can't get anyone. And that could be very costly for them. Bomb's going to be thrown out into the back by Sansam, Shield comes up. They don't blocking that one out. Fozix will be taken down by Carpe. The cart starting to advance. And Justice, they just have to reset right now. This is rough for the Justice. I mean, the self-destruct there as well from Sansam was... Honestly, it was a very wasteful. There was no way that he was going to be able to turn the fight around. It just feels like the Justice, they got so close to winning a series, right? And the first two maps were super close. Third one, very close as well. And suddenly, everyone's making these small mistakes and it's coming up. It looks huge in the grand scheme of things to waste things like that. The trance we saw from Guido earlier. Some emotions, some nerves perhaps coming through. I mean, the pressure is certainly on at the moment, trying to force out that game five. Getting that full hold almost would have guaranteed it for the Justice. Now they're in a pressure situation, just trying to stop this card from advancing into C, but Fozix is going to be the first one taken down. 
Shatters out, not gonna find anything here from Giannis. He's gonna get burned down the pin. He will find the kill. Poco finishes off Sansam right here at the end. The court will glide across the finish line. Really rough start for Fusion, but they bounce back. And they make it to the end of Route 66. Very well played. Down on the floor, or rather, we have Mika. A bit of insight here into the Fusion. Let's go ahead and throw over to her. Thanks, guys. If you've been worried about the supports of Philadelphia Fusion, worry not. I talked to Coach Hayes at the half, and he assured me Boombox is bouncing back from his illnesses, and Neptuno, who has been seeing a physical therapist, is recovering well from his injury. Hayes says this has only helped in their play, and as you can see, he assures me they will only improve in consistency from here. Back to you, Wolf and Achilles. Thank you very much, Mika, for the insight. So, yeah, I mean, Neptuno especially, uh, we've seen him now setting up those Reinhardt boops into shatters twice. We saw it on Hollywood and just there in front of B here on Route 66. Been really yeah. good communication between uh, he and his front line so far. I, I absolutely, you definitely can feel the difference, you know. Uh, when you have a real Zenyatta main, you know, on your side instead of a substitute, I mean, it's night and day, right? Neptuno's been a very great Lucio, you know, despite, uh, you know, not having the greatest condition starting the league still. <laughs> Look, you wouldn't be able to tell if he didn't tell you, right? Um, but as we look at this attack here for the Justice, what could have been an easy, st uh, you know, I stroll to know. A and then, you know, forcing that tiebreaker is now a monumentous task. No one would have believed me if I told you that 32 seconds left and a completion for Fusion after we're watching the A defense. As we, you know, come out of the gates here, the big question is, will Corey be able to get on top of Big Earl's uh, gas station there and control the high ground? That's how they operated on the defense. It's going to be much tougher on the attack. Well, already taking a ton of damage here as they push up. Auto especially dangerously low, but now they're looking for Sato. They're able to find him. He won't. Going to be eliminated. Poco going to be knocked out. This is going to be a fantastic start for the Justice. Huge, huge I mean, plays. Plenty of time for Fusion to rejoin and try to recontest this, but they're going to gain a lot of distance. Yeah, Fozzix speed boosting some of the members to chase there for a moment, but they do decide to actually just get on this cart and, you know, have three members on it to maximize its speed. You can only have three. Um, now they've controlled the high ground. Fozzix here up there, and Fusion are going to have to break through the bridge. They do not have tools to do so, though. They need to be careful about getting knocked off. They're actually going to be relinquished by the Justice. They just back away. Yep, just drop down, not playing this game. Just going to be looking to chip out at range. Corey has super high energy. You can see his right clicks are doing massive damage to the supports, but and they do not die. The grab. Yep, that's going to be the thing that's the scariest part for the Fusion, because they don't have that trance to deny it. Now it's online. Oh, he's getting low, though. Oh, yeah, getting tanked, yep. Yeah. It's OK, retreats. Back inside Big Girls, keeps himself alive. Does he want to just pin it straight in through the ceiling? No, we'll just go ahead and throws it onto the corner. Locking them up. They'll find Sato, they get rid of EQO. And that should just be a game for Justice, unless Fusion can pull out a miracle here with this defense. To find a little bit of time, a boombox going so low, will get finished off by Corey. Carpe, not going to be able to survive, gets taken down. That's going to be the cleanup. Two and a half minutes about on the clock as they go ahead and just glide through a very gently here for the Justice. Corey's positioning has led to overall more damage output. He's a thousand euro damage ahead, wearing all the other stats, uh, he, you know, they're about dead even. He is really showcasing what high ground means, how much more you could do. You know, putting everyone down to low is how the Justice can then collapse and kill targets, right? And that's what he's doing. Now he doesn't have that opportunity, though, because high ground's back to the fusion. Oh. Yeah. Almost uh, a little overzealous there. Gets tagged up quite a bit. George Ford from the fusion. Six ultimates ready to go. EQO starting things off with that rally. We'll just be handing that armor over. Neptuno looking for another setup here. They know where he is, but it's hard to counterplay. Here he comes. That rally's been used from both sides. Carpe up above. They see the shatter coming down. Sound barrier's gonna be looking good. And Sons up the nice Carpe away the grab. Perfectly timed team matrix, but can they win the fight? Justice trying to hold on. Grab comes in, locks up one, bombs up over the top. Sons up looking for the pick. They already get two. Carpe's gonna be taken down by the bomb. Boombox does punish the baby diva, but Corey comes in from behind, just gives him a right click and a punch to the face. And remember, this is all done after a, another knockback from Gita, or excuse me, not from Gita, from Neptuno that leads to a Sato shatter, and they're still able to turn the fight around. Great coordination from the Justice. Corey is absolutely killing it 
on the Zarya. 1,500 hero damage ahead at the moment. Yeah. And he's still got high energy. This is still a problem. Yeah, he's going to be taking shots from across the side. Almost isolates out Boombox. Now going to be stunned up. Bomb from Poco. Not going to find anything. Sato going to be taken down in the meantime. Sansom comes up with the kill. And the sound barrier from Neptuno a bit too late to save him. Neptuno will be taken out. Neptuno trying to claw their way back in here. This engagement was one of those Will Smith question mark moments where you're like, I don't know what the fusion was trying to do there. Huge disconnect between Sato and Poco there on the attack. And Justice just sweep up the kills. And Corey gets another grab out of this as well. This is going to be a, a practically free push right now as EQO is forced into this house. We'll drop down. Drops down. Look at oh. who stuns him, kicking the shield out. The shatter comes in. Sato doesn't help lock them up. Two kills going over to the fusion. Showing signs of life now on this defense. I will say, you know, Sato has often been a little bit far forward. He's often been caught. But the combo setups to get his shatters down have been so good. Whether it's Ikkyo setting it up with a bash or it's going to be Popo, or Poco, excuse me, setting uh, it up to try to turn his shield, for example. There's a lot of different ways we're seeing it. Neptuno knocking Giannis into the air. These shatters from Sato have actually gained so much value, and these really complex steps of fusion regain control of this map once again. There we go again. Yeah, just knocking them off the high ground this time, but they can push for it into the cave. They find Fozix. So no Lucio for the Justice. They have to try to reset. Yana's going in deep. Not sure what that was about. Yeah, well, I mean, he knew the fight was over. Probably just wanted to get a little bit more ult charge. Happy little accidents. Happy little accidents, as they say. Um, you know, I I feel like this was a map that Justice could have come up with a better time bank in, but Neptuno's really set up these plays. The ult combos have been good. And now, you know, worrying about completion here for Justice as the high ground still to Carpe. Neptuno just roaming around. Very annoying, very difficult to counterplay as well. These Lucio setups cannot be hit. He cannot be targeted where he's standing right now. Well, they're not going to come out the door that he was hoping, so... Not able to knock anybody down to the low ground. Giannis is going to be opting into that position. Goes forward, trying to get that cart rolling, but Fusion have a chokehold here at the moment. Makito opens things up, gets rid of Carpe. Now no grab in the fight for the Fusion. Poco, however, takes away Corys. So even footing at the moment, you would expect Shatter comes down. Transcend is instantly in from Guido, trying to keep everybody alive. Sato's going to be eliminated. Boombox on a fire. Will be taken down. Knows that he's got to hold on to that transcendence. They can get a last second contest on this card before it hits B. You know, the big butt here, though, for Washington Justice, you know, they just butt. Guido used his trance once again in a one fight. Absolutely unnecessary there. And Carpe has got a grab online. I don't know if they're going to be able to get B here because the Fusion have exactly the tools they need. Fozix is the only support ultimate they're going to get, and they may have to use it early. Well, Giannis is up onto the high ground. Shatter ready to go. Drops his way back down. Boombox is forced to use that transcendence. Carpe holding on. Guido going to be taken down. Poco just finds the kill. So they push their way over. Otto going lower and lower. Sound barrier is going to be out. Answering from Fozix. Catches everyone. Keeps them alive. Now they need Guido to arrive. The Shatter comes in from Giannis, but it's not going to find anything. Shield is up. Sato play breaks it. Or blocks it, rather. Yep. Okay, look Inside. At, look at Last the second attempt. They have to tag it. And this is rough. Right up, Giannis is going to get caught off. Boombox dangerously low. Sunsum goes into the back, but gets stunned up. Likely going to be knocked out. The bomb is going to be there. Sato finds a pin on Akori. Gets rid of him. Jumps in the stuff. The truck Sunsum going to be making it back into the back, but they need so much more than that to make it to B. It seems like Fusion will have done it. Their defense on this final stretch, the latter half of Route 66, has been utterly fantastic. As they drain that massive time make away from the Justice, and they shut down their hopes of forcing a map five. Three, one, victory goes to the Fusion. Even though Washington Justice came in with what I feel is their best match so far of the season, the support line with Boombox back in the raw, so the setup from Neptuno, too much to handle for the Washington Justice. Fusion looking a little bit shaky to start, but the end was clean. And it's just so tough to deal with those Lucio plays on Route 66. Neptuno was hitting them almost every time. For the Justice, I think this uh, map, they definitely, or the series, they definitely look back on and show improvement when they rewatch this VOD. They're going to say, look at how much better we played in our starting match on week three than we did in weeks two and weeks one. Yeah. I mean, taking a look at both teams as well, alt timing something that really has to be considered. A lot of ults used what seemed like, un, you know, very unnecessarily, but roughly done. 
But they get the victory here for the Fusion. Justice, I think they can feel good about this in the end. There is clear improvement in this series. Uh, for the Fusion, having Boombox back seems like it was a bit of a slow start, but they finally did hit that point where they looked very comfortable. Yeah, certainly true. Um, I have to say, you know, if Guido can tighten up his transcendence timings and, you know, we can see a little bit less yeah. panic there, I feel like Justice can certainly start to take some series. It's not another Shanghai Dragons from the inaugural season. That is not what we are seeing here with this team. I think they yeah. are going to bounce back. Well, not even possible because there's only 28 matches that they have to play. So <laughs> they, can't, uh, they can't possibly beat that record. And I know that they don't want to. So it's on the right track right now, it would seem, for the Justice. So we'll have to see how they continue to evolve and improve as we go deeper into stage one. There's only a couple of weeks remaining, really. We're already at week three. Feels yeah. so weird. It's flying by. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights here from the latter half of the set, starting off with Anubis. Some more great moments. I mean, Justice looking like they were going to be able to get that completion on B, but they just couldn't quite get there. Yeah, you know, there's some issues here, I feel like, when we're look looking at the Washington Justice. This is really a huge moment here where he not only hits Sato, but then there's no way to block the shield as all the rest of us trying to get behind Sato's shield. He's pushed away. There's a lot of potential in Giannis. I feel like this is one of those moments where, uh, you know, those who criticize him, everyone will point to this game where he had some really, uh, you know, precise moments, some precise fights, but the issues for the Justice come in their targeting. We talked about it from the beginning of the map. This fusion is just so much better at identifying this target's weak, we're gonna kill this, this player. You know, sometimes it's Fozix who dies first when he gets put low. Then on Route 66, I mean, this map was practically theirs on the defense of A, Corey absolutely dominating, having high ground control, out energying and out damaging Carpe for the majority of the map. That's when we got past this, that it feels like the Washington Justice started to crumble. Things didn't go according to plan, and they were just not able to adapt on the fly. I mean, think how differently things could have been if that shatter maybe got to go through, but crucial shutdown with the stun denies that away. The full hold does not come through. And the Justice, they do suffer another loss. But again, looking better we'll to see how they do in the future. But let's go ahead and take a look at who our player of the match is, presented by Omen by HP. And it's going to be Carve. But you know, we were talking a lot about the support players. We talked a lot about Sato's shatters. But the core here is still Carpe. And you know, not everyone wants to hear about the Zarya's in this meta, but he was the one doing the big damage, setting up these grabs, punishing Guido for missing trance in a lot of situations, including this one to set up for Poco's bomb. And, you know, these are the winning moments, right? As much as we want to talk about the small, little subtle things, Neptuno, etc., it's Carpo that comes up big. Yeah, 47 final blows, 100 high energy kills. Average energy could, you know, bump that up a little bit here, but there was some uh, hot and cold moments for the fusion overall, but a very good performance from Carpe, which is what we can kind of always expect from him. He is still a very much top level player for the fusion. But guys, we're not done yet. We're just getting started here with the week, with the day. We're gonna have the dynasty going up against the uprising when we come back from the breaks. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. High ground or low ground, T-Mobile has you covered.